Extreme Engineering – How China Built a Stadium in 8 Months China Super Sporting Stadium Explained There is probably no doubt that the most discussed nation regarding its performance in sports together with the United States is China. The Red Dragon is the most populous nation in the world and invests a lot in athletes' development. This has resulted in winning medals in many international prestigious competitions, establishing China as a sports superpower. As a result, China has been awarded the 2021 World University Games in Chengdu, the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, 2022 Asian Games in Hangzhou, and to top it all off, the 2023 AFC Asian Cup less than a year later. To further capture the world's attention and showcase the nation, China has built some of the most impressive sporting infrastructures on Earth in recent years. Number 1. Li Shui National Extreme Sports Base The stadium, located in Nanjing, at the New South District in Li Shui, at the foot of Wuxiang Mountain and the west side of Xingjiwang Park. The architectural planning and design concept of the training base pays full attention to being organic with the environment, in line with the site and related to sports, creating a green, energy-saving, ecological and healthy and comfortable extreme sports space. The base design concept originated from the extraction of the smooth curve shape of the bowling pool skateboarding movement and at the same time integrated the Nanjing City Flower Plum Blossom, forming a smooth and flexible roof shape. The roof and daylighting skylights are combined to introduce natural skylight into the training base to meet the training and competition needs of athletes and create a good indoor atmosphere. Li Kazhang, the site leader of Li Shui Urban Construction Group, said that the stadium, with a total construction area of 42,800 square meters, is the largest and most functional extreme sports base in China. The project started late October 2019 and was completed on July 2020 and took only eight months to build and hosted the first state-level skateboarding event, Surge Cup, on December 4th, 2020. The whole stadium is bright and open with rock climbing sites, skateboarding field, extreme sports street sites, and unicycle yards from north to south. Around the main stadium, there is an independent indoor surfing area, space wind tunnel area, fitness testing, rehabilitation, restaurants, and other supporting services. The indoor surfing area covers an area of 1,000 square meters with the wave height reaching 2 meters. According to Li Shui Urban Construction Group, the stadium meets the requirements of the Olympic Games, which can not only provide professional training places for national extreme sports teams, but also serve citizens and tourists. Number 2. Super Sporting Complex Phoenix Mountain Stadium in Chengdu The 43-acre complex is more like a public square for the emerging Jinyu district, with a world-first conjoined 60,000-seat FIFA grade football stadium and 18,000-seat multi-purpose arena at its heart. It's set to host the AFC Asian Cup in 2023. The site has been designed to host exhibitions, concerts, and festivals among its extensive landscaping and 128,000 square meters of mixed-use, hotel, and retail facilities. Construction was completed in 730 days and opened on February 2021. The stadium is now the largest in China dedicated to football. It connects to the neighboring arena via a multi-use bridge structure that contains club rooms and facilities for both venues. With retractable seating and stage options, the venue was designed with flexibility in mind and can cater to everything from concerts and basketball to ice hockey and table tennis. The structure is one of the largest curved and open cable dome roofs and the largest curved ethylene tetrafluorothene, or ETFE, membrane structures in the world. All stadium projects are complex, but Phoenix Mountain's world-first design, technical challenges, and extremely tight schedule of just two and a half years from design to completion put it in a league of its own. China wants fitter citizens and a bigger sports industry by 2025. With its athletes excelling at the Olympic Games, China has issued a national fitness plan that sets ambitious goals for the proportion of the residents exercising regularly to reach 38.5% and the sports industry to be worth 5 trillion yuan or 
773.6 billion US dollars by 2025, an increase of 1.3% compared to the previous five-year period, according to data from the National Bureau of Statistics, or NBS. The new plan aims to create or expand 2,000 fitness venues such as sports parks and stadiums by 2025, achieving full coverage of fitness facilities in counties, towns, villages, and communities so that residents are no more than a 15-minute walk from a place to exercise. So that was it for today's video, and if you find it useful, hit the like button. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get any updates from our channel.